Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This unit is all about KiCad hotkeys and how you can use it to optimize some of your design, namely just kind of getting acclimated to them. We'll dive down more into you know the specifics of which hotkeys are best for uh, utilizing certain features as those features come up. However, you know just kind of knowing how to use hotkeys, how to actually activate them is is an important thing, and especially how to change them that can be important as well. All right, so let's open up the KiCad launcher. And uh, one thing of note, KiCad is has different hotkeys between EE Schema and uh, PCB New. We're just going to go right into PCB New. All right, so uh, as a real quick test, I'm going to show you how my my machine is going to show off the hotkeys as they're displayed. Now this won't always come up in every video, but you see this uh, display right here, the A that I just hit A, obviously D F. You know, these are all just hotkeys I'm hitting. They actually don't do anything in this uh, in PCB new. However, there are certain design or certain aspects that do happen in PCB new. Um, so we can start using some of those. Like one example might be X. As I hit X, it starts actually routing a trace. If I hit V, it creates a via and it switches to the next active layer. So those are two things that we can uh, show off. Another important thing to know about hotkeys is that they're, <laughs> oh, here we go, they're contextual. <laughs> so if you have a random uh, module here, if we just drop a generic module, right, this is a zip uh, socket here. So if you hit E over here, it really doesn't do anything. You can see I'm hitting E. However, if you mouse over top of something, it actually pulls up the properties, E being edit. Uh, that's what that one stands for. So it can be contextual, and it can be, um, you know, it does de depend where your mouse is as well. So definitely keep that in mind if you're hitting a hotkey. It's not, do it's not doing what you expect it to. Make sure you don't need to be actually mousing over top of something. Now, hotkeys themselves are very, very useful. You know, you can if you get fast with hotkeys, you can really, really start to to create layouts quickly, create schematics quickly. However, if you forget, if you forget what a uh, hotkey is a useful thing is to hit the question mark key. Now this is going to show differently in my little displayer program. It's going to shift slash, but uh, if you hit question mark, like shows up here, it'll actually bring up a window to kind of remind you about all of these different hotkeys. Now it's not really important that that we go over this right now because you know as we go through different features, we'll really be able to figure out you know which hotkey is assigned to that that feature and then. You'll, you'll get used to that, you know, especially if you kind of keep referring back to the hotkey menu or this uh, hotkey list. More and more you'll find that you don't need to uh, refer to it as much. You know, you'll, you'll just kind of get in the flow of it. So that is how you view it. Another way you can do this, if you go into Preferences, Hotkeys Menu, List Current Keys, that's another way you can get to that list. You might have also seen in this hotkey list is that you can edit hotkeys. So let's go into that real quick. This is just looks like a Excel type document. Uh, if you mouse over here and then you want to switch keys, hit F5 instead of F4, or you can switch back to F4. Uh, if you if you happen to compare your the default list against my list, you can see that I actually ended up did I actually do um, switch the hotkeys on the layout in order to make it a little bit friendlier and and really that's the nice thing about it you can you can customize this you know if you're left-handed right-handed you might find that certain keys are better than others or if you're if you just kind of want a uh, something that feels more comfortable or or more reliable for while you're doing layout that's just going to be a personal preference kind of thing so let's also go in here though so if you if you do a hotkey uh, edit you might also want to do an export because you're you're settings then are what you're used to. So you can export it, export it to a .key file and then later when you start a new version of KiCad, if it's a new machine or somewhere else, you can import it here and pull in that same key file. So that's about it for hotkeys. I mean there's like I said, you know, if you go into this menu, this is really going to be where you learn the majority of it, uh, but it can be really, it's really, really a powerful tool and this is the way this is one of the reasons that I like KiCad the most. I mean, a lot of a lot of programs integrate hotkeys in one way or another, but I just feel like 
once I got into hotkeys on KiCad, it really started to get faster for me, and it really started to, to make a lot more sense for me. So if you have any questions, post them in the forum, and thanks for watching.